Happy New Year, everybody! I'm Silent Senior 09, and this is Let's Play Paper Mario. Last time we left off back in 2016, we entered Shy Guy's Toy Box, dropped a train from the sky, and now we are in business, ready to travel around, because we've already done everything we wanted to do here. So, actually, let me go ahead and talk to them, because they get really excited. The train's running again! We can leave anytime! Two explanation points! Twice the amount of fun! Oh yeah! How about you, buddy boy? Are you excited? Lady Bow? Lady Bow! Thank you, lady. I know you like being in the spotlight, but come now. Whoa! He's jumping for joy! Yahoo! Heart! We're back in business! This train just dropped out of the sky and onto the tracks! Public transit's up and running! Alright, so how does this work, buddy boy? Use the switches in front of the station to choose the direction you want to put the train in, basically. Let me know when you're ready, okay? All aboard! Yeah, buddy. Now, if we try to go left, I mean, you can see there might be a problem over there, but he'll tell us a little more about it if we try to do it. Yeah, there's a problem. We can't go that way. <laughs> you see the lever way behind us on the left? No, not presently, because the screen can't really scroll that way. We're not... What is this? This is like the new graphics where they actually take time to pan the camera? No, this isn't that game, buddy boy. Right, well, anyway, if you can get over there and push it, we'll be able to continue. And just in case y'all are wondering, since I took time to be such a long, drawn-out blabbermouth about it, there's the lever. We're gonna have to get it from the other side of that track, so we're not gonna be going to the red station anytime soon. So for now, we're so fabulous, because we're going to the pink station. Oh yeah. To the pink station! We are leaving! All aboard! And just like Mount Rugged, we get a little cute sequence. Chugga chugga choo choo! Next stop, Pink Station! Now arriving at Pink Station! Pink Station! <laughs> I like how enthusiastic this guy is. Even though he's got like a... F uh, I was about to say face plane, but plain face works just as well. He's really just going all out for it. Station stop, Pink Station! Welcome, passengers! Thanks, dude. Oh, we got a star piece. Sorry, well, before we do that... Usually if you talk to the toad conductor or the train maple here, they'll tell you a little bit about the area. Some shy guy just ran off to the right with a frying pan. Oh! I just bet that stole... He stole it from an innocent soul. And you know he doesn't really want to cook anything with it. What does he want to do? Make, like, Princess Peach from Super Mario RPG? Jeez, man. Shy guys are just so obnoxious. Can't say I deny that. Ugh. Fart knockers. They, they've been causing all kinds of trouble. Hey! Right here. Right here. Right now. We got another stop piece. Oh, yeah. And don't think I didn't see you. I see you over here. It's time to... Look what we got, world! We got a mailbag! I was gonna build up the suspense there and make like a da-da-da-da thing, but yeah. Alright, so we'll return that later. For now... Um... Yeah, I guess we're over here. Let's go to the right. Oh! Oh boy, here she is. Summoning another baddie for us to kick its butt. And once again, he's just as perplexed as we are to see this area. Whoa! Alright, you wanna come at me with your little balloons? Yeah, whoa! Okay, we got a new enemy. Hmm. Alright, well, I know what I want to do. Let's do Lullaby and see if we can't put him some of them to sleep. And then, in between turns, we'll go ahead and uh, take care of business there. Do the usual with Goomba Rio. Really? Really? You just had to be the little bad butt, the Billy bad butt that's like, I'm not going to sleep. I want to stay up and see Santa! I want to see Santa Claus, man! And it's like, uh, December 25th already. Came and went, buddy boy, you're a few days late. Dang it! Alright, so... Meta guy, huh? Is that short for medical guy? This is Meta guy. Meta guys are the emergency workers of the Shy Guy clan. 7 HP, 1 attack power, 0 defense. They have the power to heal their wounded companions. Of course, they also attack. Barely. <laughs> We'd better hurry up and take them out of the mix. It's a pain if they keep fixing all the damage we do. Okay, so they're attack slash healers of the group. Let me go ahead and fix this guy's balloon problem here. Oh, really? Really? Come on, Merly! You just had to go and do that? I mean, Cray. Cray? Are we Cray Cray? Ooh, great, we get to do 12 damage to balloons, but they have no HP bar. At the very least, we managed to minimize the damage we're taking, so it's all good. It's all fine and good in the hood. I'm gonna go ahead and focus, because we need to make sure we keep our maintenance up with that star power. Star power! Activate! Oh no, we're not like a mighty Morphin Ranger, dude. Come on. Oh me, oh my, oh my, oh me! Are you starting that garbage, are we? 
Oh, in case y'all forgot, if you're wondering why I'm doing more damage than usual, because normally I would do four damage with just a hammer there, and as you saw, I did five. Uh, if you missed last episode, which was last year, so it's all good, especially if you're not watching this in a playlist format. Um, really? Boo! You don't get an applause for me, you get a boo! Boo, I say boo! Anyway, what was the saying? Oh, yeah. Um, the reason my attack power is increased by one point, it's because we put on the Power Plus badge, or I did, anyway. You guys may have decided, nah, it's not worth it. That's six badge points. Now what are you going to do? you going to try and heal yourself? Well, actually, you can do that, too, but it wouldn't be any good. That's right. You're going down. You know what? You know what? You're going down with STYLE, BABY! Boom. Boom. No! Oh, damn. No! Why, gay? Why do you hurt my soul? It hurts. It cries out and says, Don't! Don't do it! Don't do it. It's so mean. So mean to me. <sighs> oh, ooh. Ooh, yeah! I welcome items, yes I do. Especially if I happen to need them. Let me see what we got here. Super Shroom, Snowman Doll, Volt Shroom, Dizzy Doll, Two Thunder... Ooh, we gotta use some of the Thunder Rages. I mean, I bought them for the trip for a reason, and it wasn't just to look at them. I know they look shiny, they're yellow. It's like we had Zeus's bolts here. Oh, I feel kinda bad. He's like, oh, oh, my head! Alright, time to do it. Thunder Rage, baby! Yeah! By the power of Zeus! Zap, zap, zap. And no, not the enemy, the zap, mind you. I don't know why I have. Go well, actually, I know why I have Goombario out. I don't know why I didn't take time to switch him, because I kind of want to give the other characters or the other party members some more screen time. Specifically, I think I want to go ahead and bring out Bombette, because she hasn't been really seeing a lot of excitement. And if I have any Bombette fans out there, they're going to be like, Silent Senior, I am disappointed. You're not using my favorite party member. What's the matter? What's the matter with you? Oh, really? Well, I guess that's that. There's no more Merly magic that's going to happen, so maybe that's good for somebody because they would want to see me do this cold cut turkey raw. They don't want me to sit here. Well, actually, cold cut turkey is not really raw. Now, if you eat a cold cut turkey raw, then you're probably going to get sick. Anyway, for opening this chest, we get a Defense Plus badge. As you might imagine, it does the exact opposite of Power Plus. Well, maybe not the exact opposite. The exact opposite would mean we would lose attack power. It decreases the amount of damage we take by one point permanently. For the most part, there are some attacks, I think. Maybe I'm wrong and it actually does block all defense. Some attacks might actually nullify the defense. Huh. This is interesting. Oh, uh, I see what we gotta do. Well, first I'm gonna beat this guy up. Or, or not, you know, that's fine. I'll just hug the wall and let this guy push me in. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you! And it's like, oh, Falls forward on his face with a face plant. Or a mask plant, because I think these guys are actually wearing masks. I think there are actually, if you look around, there might be some images online that say, what a shy guy looks like underneath the mask. I'm assuming that's what those are, but if, if they're not masks and they're actually their faces, then, well, my apologies for making fun of them, because that was rude to me. Ha, woo! Alright, what is this chest? Something good? Woo! It's the Ice Power Badge, yeah! So now, we do two, plus two damage against fire enemies. We have not run into any fire enemies yet! However, a uh, little uh, hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, we will eventually. Yuck, 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 yuck! What took you so long, Mario? Ready to taste my hammer? Is it made of chocolate? Bring it here, then. Here it comes! Oh man! Oh no! It's a Hammer Brother. I don't like Hammer Brothers. Scoomberio. Tell him why I don't like Hammer Brothers. <clears throat> these are the Hammer Brothers. You've seen these punks before, haven't you? Yeah, maybe a few times. In fact, more than my fair share I care, care to remember. You know, my Super Mario Brothers Let's Play. <laughs> yeah, I've seen plenty of them. 12 HP, five attack power, zero or one defense. Excuse me. Be careful of the hammer. If it hits you, it will cause a shrink status and a wink. When the Hammer Brothers get desperate, aka they have less than half their HP, they'll hurl a ton of hammers at you, so watch it. These guys have been a pain for ages, so let's give them an old-fashioned whopping. Whopping? <laughs> Is that another version of whooping? As always, they're not to be underestimated. Well, yeah, duh. They got hammers, man! And anybody knows, when you got a hammer, you ain't somebody to be traveling with. 
Yeah, baby. Woo, baby. Look at that amount of damage he did to me. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and... What are we gonna do? We're gonna use an item? Actually, you know, we're gonna double dip this, baby. We're gonna use a super shroom, because I feel like, hey, we got it. We might as well use it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and... What the heck else am I gonna do? I get... Oh! I could use a Babel Syrup. Yeah, let's just do that. Give ourselves some more FP, or Flower Points, for short. Alright, now what? Or what now, I should say. Excuse me. Now, now, not... Not now what, but what now? Boy, you better learn to speak, or I'm gonna kick your honey. Uh, let's see. Lady Bow wouldn't do us any good. Let's go ahead and bring out Bombex. I did say I wanted to give her some more time to shine. You are just determined to make me shrink, aren't you? You jerk face. Jeez, man, what am I, Luffy? JERK FACE! No, I'm not gonna answer that clip like I did last time. I kinda wanna actually let him do the attack. Alright, so I'm gonna purposely not do enough damage. And then he's gonna do this Berserk attack. It's crazy. Whoa, 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 whoa! Dude, dude, dude! Holy crap! Yeah! That's what they meant by he goes berserk or he just lo he goes crazy if he starts feeling threatened or whatever he said. Pretty dangerous. But this also gives me an opportunity to show off this other trick if I haven't shown it already. Anytime you get a status ailment, whether it's Shrink, Poison, Dizzy... Actually, Dizzy can't do anything, but... Shrink or Poison. To cure that, if you want to, you can use Refresh, and you'll automatically cure that status ailment as well as whatever damage you happen to heal. Alright, I know I don't need Bomb, but you know what? Let's go out with a... BOOM! Yeah! <laughs> like how he's got... WHOA! His eyes all bulging out of his head, and he's like, charcoal to a crisp. Stick a fork in him, he's done. Mm-hmm. Or maybe it's a she, I don't know, I never thought I'd polite to ask. Or reach under and check to see what's swinging down there or not. Anyway, enough talking about genitalia. Look what we got, we got the frond pan. Tasty is gonna be one happy camper. Mm-hmm. Alright, so I think that, let me just double check. The I Spy badge didn't go off in this area, right? I'm pretty sure it didn't. Let me do a couple more stomps here, there's one and then... Okay, yeah, I feel good enough. It's There's not going to be anything else here. So with that, we can go ahead and move from the right side of the pink station area and go on to the left. Uh, I'll pass on fighting you guys. It would be too easy of a kill, and... Uh, burp. Excuse me. I'm not really into easy kills. You know, when, once you get to a certain level, it's like, eh, I'm going a little too... Um, what's the word? Going a little too hyper beamish on a level two Caterpie, yeah. I don't I don't need to be doing that. I gotta have some mercy, and of course somebody out there is thinking like, Mercy's for the weak. Ooh, so we got a coin up here, we got looks like a train track in the middle. I don't think the train actually travels this way though. Whoa! Okay, he's got a slingshot, great. He's like Young Link from Smash Bros. Melee. Dude! I did not give you permission to do that to me. Oh wow, I'm about to die here. Alright, let's see if we can use a lullaby. Probably a risky move, but I'm... Hey, I'm a gambling man. Big whammies, no! Or big money, no whammies, big money, no whammies! Yeah! I said that bass backwards, but maybe that was for the best, because that means I didn't jinx myself. I know I don't mean the Pokemon jinx. I'm not going to use Ice Punch or Lovely Kiss on you. Alright, Goomba Rio, before I make any more terrible jokes, Spy Guy. Fill us in the details on the intel of this dude. Spy guy. Dun, 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 dun. Spy guys look like they're ready for war. And there's Biffy camouflage gear. Yes, that's right. 7 HP to attack our zero defense. They change their weapons each time they're attacked. Okay, yeah, seriously, stop. You best try to avoid their hammer attack. Every time you're hit by it, you'll lose one of your action commands. Oh, great, it's like Bowyer from Super Mario RPG, and I, that's the second reference I've made to that game. It's not my fault. This game is kind of, sort of a sequel, if I understand, to, or direct sequel, or maybe not direct sequel, no. Because they're not paper games, not both of them anyway. But from what I understand, Super Mario RPG is actually not a prequel, but it's the game that came before this, and Paper Mario acts as sort of a sequel to... Super Mario RPG, because this is an RPG game and it features Mario, so... I don't know if that necessarily qualifies it directly as, oh yeah, it's automatically a sequel because of that. No, probably not, but... I feel like that this is... Somewhere out there it said, yeah... Nintendo pretty much said, yeah, this is pretty much what that is, or whoever... Actually, who all makes this? 
trying to think. It's not Square Soft Enix. No, Square Soft Enix is the one that teamed up and made uh, Super Mario RPG. Oh, really? Yeah, this is what happens when he uses his hammer attack. You wind up not being able to use an action command for the entire turn, or entire turn, entire fight until the fight ends. Thankfully, you do get it back after the battle, at least, so that's good. Man, we're racking up the star points already. Feels good. Feels good, man. Man, this music is just really mesmerizing, I'm telling you. Whoa, Nelly! Good sir, are there any, any good restaurants in town? Everybody calls me, oh my guy. I don't know why, I'm just an ordinary food-loving shy guy. <sighs> and I'm hungry. First row problems of every chunky monkey person, I'm telling you. Um, okay, I guess we gotta feed him some. How about a vulture room? It's a little shocking, but once you get past that aftertaste, it's pretty good. <laughs> oh, ugh, ugh, bleh. That's the worst tasting food I've ever eaten! Ugh! Rude. My delicate palate is too refined to eat this stuff. I can eat only food of the finest quality, or my gag. I'd rather starve than eat such inferior food as this. Harumph, harumph, well, screw you too, buddy boy. I'm gonna go over here and... We're not gonna be able to go around him. We have to go past this guy! Great! Alright, well, maybe I can get some more info. I'm too hungry to move. I'm famished! I must eat! Yeah, you with your little ne little necktie napkin frill there. You look like you're really famished, everybody boy. Enough of the fat jokes. I need a sweet, sweet cake. Sweet cake. With frosting and, mm, mm, and cookie crumbles! Shut up, man! You're making me hungry! Well, we don't have anything like that, but... We'll have to keep that in mind for later. And by later, probably next episode. <laughs>